Earlier today, I was watching uh, Dave Chappelle's uh, comedy show on Netflix, The Closer. It was pretty good, pretty entertaining. I, li I liked a lot of the jokes on there and a lot of the messages. But um, at, cer at a certain point in it, he said something about a comedian named Hannah Gadsby not being funny. And thirdly, you must admit that Hannah Gadsby is not funny. And, you know, me being me, I'm like, comedian, not funny? That's content. So um, today, I have no idea who Hannah Gatsby is. Never heard of her once in my entire life. But we're going to be checking her out today. But going into this expecting her not being funny, this is not going to be a try not to laugh challenge. This is going to be a try to laugh challenge. Assuming she's horrible, I am going to try to force myself to laugh at this. Now, we're watching here. It's only a four-minute uh, thing. So, you know, it's not going to be any kind of like crazy long challenge. I cannot do watching blah, blah, blah until I laugh anymore. The fucking 30 minute comp, 30 minute hour compilations. I can't, I'm getting too old. My, my, my body physically can't handle that type of pain. So we're going with a nice light four minute Hannah Gadsby video today. No idea if she's good or bad or whatever, but that's what we're going to find out today. Um, as the good YouTuber I am, starting my screen recording right here, and you should see a little something something right there, hopefully, if my editor is doing his job right. And uh, yeah, with that being said, let us begin. Turn this down a little bit. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Oh. I'm pleased. You guys can't call me misogynistic for this one, because that's not a woman. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... That's a dude with a high voice, and you cannot convince me otherwise. So, I am not doing anything to women this video. I'm doing something to men. I'm doing something to men. What do you mean by that? Because that's a dude. Sorry. Just had to clear that out of the way. For you. That's nice, isn't it? I uh, spent some time in North Carolina um, cool. a few years back. It's a nice place. Uh, Mr. Beast. So I was set to move there uh, to a place called Durham, which is not... Like, Durham is a slow word for slow people, I believe. It's like rural. I can't say it fast, but we must move on. Oh, this is uh, bad. So moving there with my this is bad. She was an academic. She possibly still is. We don't talk anymore. Harsh. It's comedy. What? And uh, we didn't want to accidentally move to somewhere in Durham that was homophobic. You know, like a bit stabby and punchy. Sometimes that happens. And I'm from Tasmania. I've seen it. All right. Rural Tasmania to boot. And so we, we went on uh, uh -oh. to Craigslist, which is pretty much gum tree with guns. It's exciting. And we okay. found a place advertised... Is this too British for me to understand? The main house. Uh, and it was advertised by a couple that described themselves as a gay loving gay couple and we thought well that's safe because I'm sure there's sure. gay couples that fucking hate other gay couples out there oh this is bad so we signed up and it sounded lovely but it wasn't <laughs> they were fruit and nut bars T tell us gay loving gay couple fruit and nut bars my alarm bell started ringing as soon as we arrived uh, they just Flew out of the door to meet us at the driveway. There were both very large men, but one was larger than the other, and he spoke. That was the rules. <laughs> and he said... He was, uh... Chappelle was not lying when he said she was not funny. Uh, but let's continue. It's very nice to meet you. My name's Peter, and this here's Reed. But y'all can call me Papa Bear. This here's Pup. <laughs> Do you know, I was just mostly disappointed they didn't ask I'm me trying to laugh, but I can't, because I want to cry. Ready. What's your animal name? And I was going to go thylacine, you know. Was, yeah. And this air is... This is either really thing. British that I can't understand it, or it's just not funny. Now, it turns out, Drake, that behind the, the main house was the cottage we were renting, and behind that was a barn. It was an enormous barn. It was larger than really you need on a suburban plot with no animals. Like, it was a large barn, and I'm like, that's weird. But it got weirder because it turns out that Papa Bear and Pup spearheaded the North Carolinian division of 9-11 was an inside job. Ooh. <laughs> they believe the towers... I'm just... I'm not... I'm not even pausing because I have commentary. I'm just pausing so we collectively can take a break from this. Like... I have no commentary on this. I just need a break before I return. 
Okay, we're done. We're done. We're good. We're, we're back. I'm really trying to laugh. I am. This is just a sophisticated hologram, guys. And that was all, uh, the, you know, put into place by the lizard people. I stopped listening then. The alarm bells were quite loud and I'm knocking. I thought, oh, no. There's going to be a, an apocalypse in 2012. They're a bit behind schedule. Fucking lizards. Slack. Lizards, am I right, guys? <laughs> there, I win the challenge. The apocalypse. They showed me inside. Uh, it was lovely. There's a little tin food under the trap door, but that's good, isn't it? And then there's some lovely wooden. I guess. And some nice throw rugs there to keep the stereotypes alive. But on the other side, <laughs> the largest gun cabinet I've ever seen. And I've never seen. We love gun our cabinet. guns in and America. It was bigger than that. It was huge. <laughs> and it was full of very large, angry guns, right? This is where they were going to hold up for the lizard apocalypse in 2012. Is it really in this? This is you're going to fight off an fight off an apocalypse in this barn, guys. Where's in the joke? Wooden I'm structure. looking. I'm looking. You're going to fight off an apocalypse. I'm really you? looking for the joke. I cannot find it anywhere. Pigs, have you? <laughs> Sorry to get past the second chapter. You Could you imagine me laughing at this, like? Left. Imagine an alternate universe where I think this is funny. What kind of person would I be? Is that it? That was it. Um, I have no words. Um, it's like, okay, so take Amy Schumer's level of funny. Now make her British, which is worse. Now make her man looking. Well, more man looking than Amy Schumer is. And this is what this is. That was horrible. What the hell did I just... I thought, like, it was going to be marginally funny. It, 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 it what was not. Okay, well, as it turns out, the try to laugh challenge, technically I won because I fake laughed, but I think in the try to laugh challenge, you have to actually force yourself to a somewhat genuine laugh, and that was just nowhere. I was looking. I, I looked through 17 different countries to find the joke, and I couldn't find it. Um, so what did we learn today? Um, Dave Chappelle was right. She's not funny. Um, apparently there was some drama going on on Twitter as there tends to be. I haven't really looked super deep into that, but whatever the drama is, I saw something that was funny. Like Dave Chappelle's, uh, Rotten Tomatoes score was like 40, but his audience score was a hundred. And then Hannah Gadsby's Rotten Tomatoes score was a hundred, but her audience score was like 10. You know, that's, just, that's a society that we live in. Uh, but yeah, that was a try to laugh challenge. Um, I failed. Let me know if any of you guys succeeded because I want to I wanna know what's going on in your head. That's going to do it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye. Orange Peanut wants you to subscribe because he needs more money.